Welcome back to Handyworks. Today I'm excited to share my latest project, Japanese stitching art on a cushion cover. For this project, I chose a rich dark handloom cotton fabric as the canvas and brought the design to life with embroidery flosses. While I drew a grid square of 6 mm for this demonstration, feel free to customize it based on your preference. I've used a heat erasable pen to draw a grid on the fabric. This nifty tool makes it incredibly easy to create precise lines. And the best part? It's erasable any time with a bit of heat. I fix my hoop with an adjustable embroidery stand. This not only prevents shaking, but also provides a comfortable and convenient setup for the entire project. And remember, you have the flexibility to explore with or without an embroidery hoop. If you're interested in these embroidery essentials, you can find them on my Handy Store website at handystore.shop. Step 1. Cross stitches. Using a simple running stitch, I'll create crosses on our fabric. Think of it as planting the seeds of our design, setting the stage for the beauty to come. Step 2. Horizontal Weaving I'll weave horizontal lines through those cross stitches. Picture it like a loom taking shape. As you complete the horizontal weaving, watch as two petals bloom, adding a captivating layer to our pattern.
Step 3. Vertical Weaving I'll weave vertical lines to complete the formation of four petal flowers. It's like telling a story with each stitch. The vertical lines intertwine, bringing our blossoms to full life on the fabric. Follow my lead as we intricately weave each petal, ensuring a harmonious and balanced design. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more crafting joy. Happy stitching!